Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and uh, welcome to the video where we are going to talk about how to pick the data. And this is a very common skill also known as destructuring of the data. A lot of people who just learned this destructuring concept directly in React course or my other MERN course or something, they most of the time think that destructuring only happens in object, which is not true. Destructuring can happen at a lot of places and it's a very common technique that is being used in JavaScript. So you should be familiar with that. The whole idea behind destructuring is just remember this one single concept that whatever is the data type on the right hand side, similar data types should be on the left hand side and then probably you can do the destructuring. The key word here is probably. So it's uh, make sure you keep an eye on that. Let me show you by that. And even this first example actually uh, gives a lot of problem to a whole lot of people. And in fact, not problem, but bit of surprise. So let's just say I declare a const and I'm gonna call this one as name. Uh, I will replace this uh, keyword in a second. So just don't bother too much on this one. Let's just say we have an array and in this array, we are having few of the information. Let's just say uh, as my name is there, my number of courses are there and probably my role is there, which is admin. Again, really common array. We have seen this probably gazillion of time. Too much, but yeah, few hundreds of time. Now, what we can do in case you want to destructure that right now, if I want to access any of that, I have to access it through the syntax of saying name and then calling it like the first value or something like that. But let's just say you don't like this one here and you want to store everything into a variable. There are a couple of ways how you can do that. You can do something like uh, var and you can say role and uh, you can go ahead and say I will change this uh, name to user actually to just get a bit of feel of that so let's just say you want to have a role then you have to go ahead and say oh, this one is going to be user a role is at second position so this is all good then I'm going to create another one which is going to be name and that's going to be again user at zeroth position and now I can go ahead and say log and uh, let's just say, let's print the role only, save that, fire this up, and we are on to pick data.js. We got admin here, so nothing new here. The new thing actually comes in when you want to separate these things on the go. So what I can do is instead of doing this like this format, I can comment this out and can save myself some time. I can simply go ahead and say var. I can give an array on the left hand side and I can say this is going to be name, then it's going to be course count and then it's going to be role and then on the right hand side also I have to give an array. So there we go. Now this what is going to do is automatically going to go behind the scene will say that okay right hand side there is an array with three values and on the left hand side also we got an array with three values. So that means an equal sign is here. That means I will pick up these values and will fill these values with these, uh, these variables going to be filled with this value. So now again, if I go ahead and run this program again, you notice that exact same result. So yes, this is a shorthand notation. You're going to see probably a gazillion of time. Okay. Now this is not so common to work with these destructuring of data on array. Most of the time you're going to see people work with an object with a destructuring of data. That's the most common one. So I'm going to simply say const, and I'm going to call this one as my user. Uh, that's just a random name. Okay. And what we are having is let's just say name. Okay. Name is already being used up here. We're going to comment all of this. Come on. We can do that. Okay. So we're going to have a name and we're going to have Hitesh. Then we are having uh, this course count and that's going to be probably five. And then we got a role and that is let's just say admin. Okay, now how can I print each of these values? That's a pretty simple one. I can go ahead and say log my user and I have to say dot course count. There we go. This is how I can access each of this value. Now if I run this one, uh, looks like I got some issues here. Roll my user, where are you having a problem? At line number seven. Yep, that's where you are having a problem. Okay, save that and we're going to run this one more time. And there we go. We see that 
it's it's something that we have seen so many time. But if you're going to be using this syntax probably like 50 times after this line, then it makes sense to not to use this much of a big line. Rather, I would prefer to use something like course count or my course count or something like that. So what I can do is I can come here. So how we can destructure this object, it's almost really simple. So we're going to simply go ahead and say, you can use const, var, let, however you like to go. And I'm going to simply say I want to uh, pick out a name, course, count, and I'm going to pick out role. And of course, on the right hand side also you need an object. So my user fits nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and simply say log and give me course count. So I can directly use a course count here. The above one and the below one are going to definitely give us the same result. But there is a little bit more to it. Let's just say if I just say my course count here. So what is going to happen now? is uh, first and foremost, it should be my course count. This is not what I wanted to show you. Let me just give me a second and run this again. And now we see an undefined. So how come this is undefined? We are having three values here and there should be three values here. And this is specifically the destructuring of the data. In order to destructure, definitely the type should match. The object should be here. So therefore object should be here. But these names should also match as they are designed in the object. Notice here, if I just go ahead and try to pick the role. Now this is no surprise at all. We see the admin because JavaScript was able to find role inside this object. So that's why that value was picked up and was assigned in this variable. So make sure you keep an eye on that. So these are the two couple of things that you should keep in mind that first and foremost, destructuring happens not just in object, but also in arrays and bunch of other things. And the most important thing with the destructuring is make sure the names are exactly same. And uh, we saw that in the case of array, there was not such a hard code requirement because it works a little bit different there. But in case of objects, it is important that we keep the name same. So there we go. I introduce you with, the, with the, all the possible errors that you might or might not encounter. And I think that's the great way. I hope you have already got the subscribe covered for me. And let's go ahead and catch up in next video.